Hi guys, great to see you. Uh, sorry I haven't been shooting any videos lately, but I had a rough week at work. It's been really busy. I'm actually on my way at work now as well. I uh, just had to pick up some stuff uh, for the restaurant, but uh, I'm gonna shoot another video today, so that's gonna be all included with this one. Um, I'm gonna show you some stuff, uh, all the tools that I've got already. Um, it's not the complete set that we need for the beehive, but it's most of the stuff is the most important thing. And obviously it's not gonna be as fun as uh, when the bees arrive, that's gonna be awesome when they hear you. Uh, but for now I'm gonna show you the tools, uh, how to use them, and I'm gonna show you my uniform that I've got, uh, which is quite a good one as well. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure, I don't think it's gonna be in this video, but then the next one we're gonna finally settle, uh, we're gonna set the whole beehive together the way it's supposed to be, uh, covered with the paint, which is gonna change the looks a bit as well. It's gonna look darker and I think it's gonna look a little better because uh, it always gives the wood some nice touch. Uh, so we're gonna do that for now and see what's coming next uh, Obviously We're gonna get some plants on the roof as well uh, That's gonna be a lot of work I think I'm gonna get my mom to help me with that as well because she's good with plants I can carry all the things up uh, But she will have to help me put them in the uh, In the dirt and so we'll see how this goes uh, we have to wait for a little bit good weather because it's still February. Um, it's not the bad winter. It's it's not bad. It, there's no snow, um, but it's it's not still not enough uh, temperature to put the plants in the ground just yet. Uh, but I think I'm gonna climb up to the roof just to show you how it's gonna be, uh, where the plants are gonna be. So we've got three roofs next to each other that we can use. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of space for new plants. Um, so we're gonna choose some good species as well. So uh, the ones that give you honey uh, and the bees likes them so we're gonna do that and that's gonna be in this video soon so back on the roof uh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys is what are my bees going to eat because this is a bit of an important thing that uh, many beekeepers told me it's gonna be hard for them on the roof um, because of lack of food around them uh, and this is what I need to change uh, but to be fair it's it's not that bad actually because when people think oh beekeeps beekeeping in the city and there's no field with any good flowers for them uh, it's not entirely true because there's no chemistry that uh, many farmers are putting on the plants that kills many bees. In the city you don't get that, it just flowers, just trees from parks and stuff like that. So they're actually doing quite all right. Uh, I want to show you uh, what I've got here. So this is the roof. So you can see there's a little bit of an edge. Oh, I tend to read. <laughs> there. So uh, it's good because it's going to stop the wind for the flowers. So I'm going to put many flowers around there and all the way all the way around so behind every chimney I can put some flowers and that's gonna be just for them when it's windy when they can't go far uh, they're gonna have something around uh, also the flowers they give them water uh, I'm gonna have some extra water for them here because bees nope, not many people know this but bees uh, they need a lot of water uh, to help keep the temperature in the beehives and uh, just for them to, to drink, to eat really. So I'm gonna show you behind me. These are very good trees for the bees. They have a lot of flowers, a lot of leaves. Uh, so this is a lot for them. This is this, this amount for trees, for free beehives, it's, it's really a lot. And also you have the some fields there where it's just uh, wild. Uh, wild plants there, so just random flowers uh, as you can have in the forest or anywhere, so these are the best for them. And then I want to show you on the other side of the roof, the little there, it's quite high, fifth floor. So on this side, 
this is when the roof gets a bit higher because the street gets lower so I'm not going to go too close so here we've got a lot of households and every household has a garden so this is perfect this is just random probably many roses many tulips uh, many fruit trees like apples like cherries this is awesome this is great because apples you get quite early in the summer then cherries you get a bit later so they've got some food uh, for them and for us with the honey all over the year so well all over the season so that's really good and another part of the roof where the main street goes you can see there's some uh, some buildings there but there's still trees trees around and then behind me but you can see the church you can see the church tower can you the church is in the middle of a park and the park is quite big uh, lots of flowers lots of trees uh, I can't really tell you what the names of the trees are in English but uh, I know that these trees are good they've got a lot of flowers a lot of leaves uh, I'm actually I was wondering if there's any beehives random on them but I checked and I haven't seen any wild ones. And then, I'm gonna show you, whoops, we've been here before. Uh, got those trees there, and then behind is this forest. So, in the forest, they can have a free, <laughs> happy life, the bees. And this is not far, uh, this is 1.5 kilometers. They can fly up to three, so perfect for them, more than enough. Um, and, the next part is high again so here is another roof there and another there and these oh, I can really see this one just yeah there. so that roof, and that roof I can use I can put some pallets on them put some flowers not too many just random just just big bushes with a lot of flowers so it's gonna help the bees survive and then because we are on the roof of a hotel and this here is like a little hole in this inside. These are rooms, all right. So we've got rooms outside and inside the hotel. You can see there. You can see those metal constructions. They're gonna be with flowers as well. And there, there's gonna be like a patio with a tree with flowers. They're not gonna be ready probably um, for this season for the bees. Uh, well, not the tree, but the plants. They might be just alright for them in the late late summer. Um, so they're gonna have some nice and this is gonna be secured from the wind as well so really happy for the bees uh, they should be quite all right here if any had, anyone have any doubts I don't anymore <laughs> so happy about that uh, right let's go downstairs I'm gonna show you the tools I uh, hope you enjoy it again if you have any questions uh, ask me shoot uh, and please subscribe okay we're back downstairs uh, I moved up from the Mm, garage because I think we need some more light and uh, to show you everything so this is all my equipment that I've got so far it's the most important things that I need uh, we can actually probably start with just this um, and I'm gonna show you what I've got so the most important thing uh, is the uniform although I've seen beekeepers working without uh, but I'm not as experienced and I haven't been stung so many times because probably proper beekeeper has been stung a million times I uh, can't feel it anymore, uh, but I think every new sting is going to be painful for me, so I'm just going to use it. Uh, wait, I'm going to show you how it works. Sorry, it's been very cold here, so I had a, a jumper under a jumper, so a bit embarrassing. Might cut off this part. So, this is the uniform that I've got. So, you can buy a full one, full length, from the bottom to the top but I put two separate. So I've got pants, which are separate, and the color is random. I thought it's gonna be coming uh, white, but it's green, yellow, gray, I don't know. I'm not really good with colors. So I'm gonna show you the jacket once I'm... Um, okay. So the jacket is pretty simple. Um, so you can have a hat separate as well, a jacket, and pants and hat or you can have a full uniform and a hat or just a uniform with a hat including there's so many options uh, so for new beekeepers i think you should just uh, buy whatever is uh, most comfortable for you because uh, this so this is oh this is like that 
Um, this is quite thin, but I think it's also very strong, so uh, this thing doesn't go through, although I'm not sure <laughs> about that. So this is the jacket, uh, it's quite tight here, so the bee won't go under you. And then I've got the hat, Woo. so it works just like that, hope you can still see me. And there's wraps, and I've got the zip lock all around, and it goes all the way here. So fully protected, uh, you really don't want bees around your face because you can't do anything. Uh, you can just squeeze it like this to save yourself, or you can get a sting. Uh, so this is how it works, obviously gloves. So I've seen a lot of beekeepers on YouTube just working without gloves. Because uh, it's probably easier when you have your own fingers. Yeah, it, it's not very comfortable, but still safety first, I would say. So I'm going to use gloves, at least for the beginning, see how it works. If I don't get any stings, in a couple of months I'm just gonna take some clothes off, see how it works. Because on the roof I believe it can be a million degrees, so it can be really hot. Quite happy. I said I'm not gonna show any tags, but too late. This one was already on, so I'm gonna take this off. It's actually hot already, uh, so maybe when you buy them, uh, just see the comments. How they work. So I show you the tag, but I already see that something that's not great about it. Uh, but I think to be strong, they have to keep the heat. Nothing you can do about that. So pants. I'm not gonna show you how I dress. The pants on. So gloves. Um, so I think that's what you have to start with. Get a proper uniform. Uh, go see a beekeeper if you know any, uh, or you can find someone on Facebook. Uh, to show you the beehive, show you the bees, so you can see if you're okay, if you're feeling comfortable before you start the whole adventure. Because you might just get all the stuff and get the bees and then you're gonna be like, oops, that's not for me, I'm, I'm actually quite scared. Uh, so it's best to start off some random beekeeper, you can just get them to know you and ask them if you can help for free and they're probably be happy to show you around. Because all the beekeepers, I believe they're passionate about it, so they're happy to show you stuff. So, uh, all the equipment, this is just a knife, I stole it from the waitresses, we're in the restaurant now, uh, not for beekeeping. So, this is the bee tool, beekeeping tool, um, this is, this comes in every different shape, different sizes, this is the one I got. Um, so, the beehive, this is the part of beehive I brought for you, to show you uh, how it's gonna work when it's ready. Uh, Bee, it gets really sticky inside. Bees glue everything together, so when I'm gonna come there every week or so, this is gonna be stuck. So what you have to do, you have to use this, like that, and then you can get the bees out. So this is just the roof there, well this is the middle of the roof. Uh, the next thing, so this is how it works, this is probably the most useful thing, can't go without it really. Uh, right, I'm gonna put this here. So. The next thing I want to show you, this is the part of the roof. Uh, so some beehives have another stick there between the frames, so the bees don't go up. But you can also have something like this, then you don't have to play with the sticks, they get really dirty and sticky and you have to unstick them all together. Uh, if you have this, you don't need the sticks. So. And this is the ventilation hole, and you can use it for feeding as well. So this magic thing, this is just a random jar that I've got from the restaurant. You can put the sugar syrup here for the bees. Close this, just a random jar. Put it on there, then you put the roof on, or another box if it's big. And the bees will collect the sugar syrup for them if there is no food outside. So, and this people use the whole winter, whole winter long. So any size, and you can just reuse them all the time. Sorry. This is the fork for the honey. So when you've got the bees working on the frames, so this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna pick this up, and this is gonna be full of bees, full of honey, or full of eggs. Uh, we'll see, it's gonna be exciting. So uh, it's hard to show you without the bees. So there's gonna be honey, which is gonna be covered with wax. So before we take the honey out, you have to take the wax off like this. So this is what it's for, long and sharp. So 
So this is the fork for the honey. I think I'm making my own names for these. Frames, how I showed this. So, my favorite tool, smoker. Um, I actually show, saw a video on YouTube today when there was a guy showing me how to work this, with the smoker. So, uh, he said it's for the bees to get calm, to go down. Um, but also, he was having a couple of buckets on each other. And after the work, when he finished with the bees, he finished the inspection, he smoked the bees from here, so they would go down, and before he put another box on top of it. This way, he doesn't squeeze any bees. I love it. He had millions of bees. He had seven beehives, loads of bees in them, and he was worried about a few bees going around, just not to squeeze them. Uh, this, is, this is the passion for beekeeping. So, and last thing I wanted to show you, these computers. So I've got two. This is a very cheap one. This is like two Zlotis, uh, which is I think like 25 euro cents, 25 Ps. Uh, this is the queen excluder. So when you want the, uh, the honey uh, and the eggs separate, you don't want to have honey and like for example honey and eggs on the same frame because you can't co collect that honey with the eggs on it, you do like this. You put the queen excluder on top, then you put another box on top, so as you can hear, queen excluder means every bee can go through, but not the queen. So she's not gonna lay eggs on top of it uh, in the frames because she's gonna be stuck in this box. So you're gonna have your nest and your honey separate. Then you can just grab the box with the honey, take the honey, awesome. So this one is the cheaper one. Um, I think it's quite sharp, so it, it might hurt the bees. I just wanted to see how it works. So I've got this one as well. You can also put it like this. Oh no, you can't this one. No, you can't. Uh, I've seen for a queen excluders like this that you can put in the beak. I would have to cut it. Put it like this, so then you can have it in the middle and you have honey here and the nest there. You can do that as well. If you have a proper one, I'm, I think I'm just gonna use it as it's supposed to be used. Just like that. Oh, but can't wait for the bees to come here. So this is all the equipment I've got so far. It's not much more I need to be honest. Uh, just some food for the bees for the winter. Uh, and we're gonna have also, uh, this is one of the boxes, but this is not the one with the entrance. This is the one that goes on it. Uh, for the winter we need something that will make the entrance smaller. So no mouses. Uh, no mice, sorry, no mice, no other insects like wasps uh, would go into the hive and mess with bees. <coughs> so this is how it is. I'm not gonna waste your time any longer. Uh, uh, next video, I'm gonna definitely put the paint on. Uh, you're, you're gonna see how it works, see how it looks, and then we're gonna do some more interesting stuff. So thanks for the views again, thanks for the comments. Uh, I actually didn't get many comments on YouTube, but on Facebook I've got quite a few from my friends. Uh, everybody's cheering me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm really happy about it. And hopefully in a couple of months you're gonna see a jar of honey from my bees.